the overall project is, is to look at the role of uh, predation, winter weather, and habitat on white-tailed deer populations. What happened in the mid-1990s, we had two back-to-back -back severe winters, and that caused a decline in the deer population, and that in and of itself wasn't unusual. But what was unusual is that the population did not appear to recover, and at the same time, populations of carnivores appeared to be increasing. And so there was some thought that um, perhaps predation is limiting the deer population and not allowing it to recover. But it's not just as simple as predation. There's other factors, including winter um, weather, that can have um, devastating effects on white-tailed deer populations and also habitat conditions, whether it's forage or cover. And so by looking at the role of predation, winter weather, and habitat, we're trying to untangle the interrelationship of those three and how they might be influencing white-tailed deer recruitment and ultimately populations. I think the Upper Peninsula of Michigan is the most difficult place in the United States to manage white-tailed deer, bar none. I don't think there's another place that's as difficult as this is to manage deer. And the reason for that being we not only have this suite of predators that is, you know, tremendous really, but we also have the potential to have 300 inches of snow in any given winter. And if you have deep snows like that accompanied by these polar vortexes that we've seen uh, this past winter come down through here, it's just devastating on whitetails. So you can do all the planning you want about what you're gonna do next year or what you think this whitetail deer herd's gonna do, but one winter can set you back many years in your planning. Why is it important? It's important from a couple of reasons. If you look at white-tailed deer in the Upper Great Lakes region, it's a hugely important species. And to this date, I think white-tailed deer bring in an estimated $1 billion in revenue to the state of Michigan each year, and so it's an incredibly important species. Also, um, it's a very popular recreation animal for hunting and also for people to observe, and plus um, white-tailed deer have an important ecological role as um, a prey species and also as, a, um, as an herbivore out there modifying landscapes. You know, we've got a lot of people that have really helped us out in getting this project underway, but I really think it's fair to say that this project would not have gotten off the ground without the help of Safari Club International. Safari Club not only is a great organization supporting hunters, they are a tremendous organization supporting conservation efforts around the world.